So one thing that we can also start to do from the 50-50 is use the lapel to reinforce the 50-50. Now this isn't actually something I use, uh, I don't think I've ever really used this in competition. Occasionally I've played around with it in training. Uh, the thing with this position is you can end up kind of uh, like blowing heaps of time uh, just staying in this position. So I would say make sure to use this position um, in moderation, especially in a competition scenario, because the way things are going with the IBJJF rule set, there's a chance that uh, you'll only be able to use this position for, I think it's like a period of 10 seconds or something. I think they're looking at changing the rule set. I think it was maybe in the IBJJF uh, GP. But it's quite safe to say that in the future, there will be a time limit for how long you can use this grip. Okay, so what it is, is I'm taking the same side collar, I'm gonna pass it outside Issa's thigh, and with that overhooking hand, I'm either gonna take a thumb up grip or a thumb down grip. What this means now is it's much harder for Issa to get past this leg. Okay, so a common passing scenario that we'll see from here is if Issa stands up, and he pushes this leg down to the floor and steps over into like a knee and belly. When you have this lapel fed through, it makes it a lot harder to hit passing sequences like this. Okay, and as an extension of my 50-50, it now makes all my attacks where I thread that deep de la Hiva hook to the far leg and start to extract the leg much easier. Another thing to note as well, Extracting your leg from 50-50 is going to be made a lot easier with this grip because your opponent isn't going to have the same ability to overhook your leg because this their lapel, or rather most of their jacket, is in the way. So once you thread that foot through, extracting the leg becomes very easy from 